All right, Mopar people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. I got the old cornet behind me. I got to get some stuff going on it. I was going to roll it outside today and show y'all, but it's pouring down rain again. So what I think I'm going to do is throw some accessories on it. Let me show you that. So as it left off, I just did my flow coat on the whole body of the car. I've only got those two small runs in the back and I'm not gonna mess with them today. What I do think I'll do is do the grill, front bumper, uh, these emblems here, since my fenders are basically perfect, I can go ahead and get those emblems back on, make it look like a car again. Uh, I need a blackout inside of here, anywhere that's kind of red overspray. That all needs to be black. That's how, that's how Mopars are supposed to be. Um, this is not supposed to be black, but y'all already know the story behind that. Um, so I'll get this scuffed up, shoot that stuff in there black, mask it all off real nicely. Uh, get my corner markers. They are mounted inside the front bumper. Get those hooked up. If I have time, I may can throw on that mirror and do my back glass trim. You know how we had to fight that good fight. But that all looks really nice in there now. Pretty solid and... That should last a very, very, very long time. <clears throat> Let's see what else. I was gonna leave this masked off for now because the car's gonna get rolled out. I'm gonna put it in the other garage and I don't want any funk or whatever to fall in there that doesn't have to um, whenever I paint the hood and trunk back in the shop. So, got a little bit going on here. Uh, my finish really did turn out pretty nice. I'm very proud of that. I found, did find another run. I don't know if you can see her through here, right there. But big flat panel, it'll be easy to get out. Um, so one, two, three runs. Just on this side, I don't know. But anyway, I can do my antenna, probably my wipers. And when you get to see this at the end of the day, it will look like a car again. So y'all hang out. Wipers are pretty trick because they wipe away from each other instead of being in tandem. Should be fairly simple. Pop them back on. That'll be for that side. That'll be for the other. So I'll do it one at a time. If you want to be real nice, you can put a little anti-seize inside there in case it ever needs to come off again. It may not rust up as fast. They got a little tang. The tang just is kind of spring-loaded. So I'll get my anti-seize and pop them down. I might get them about as low as I can. Once you bend that and stick it, it's kind of a little more challenging. You can see that's too low. And it'll be all the way down to there. He's glad to use that anti seize now. Come on up on it. Now. How about right there? Oh yeah. The one. Number two. How's that feel? Mm, see, that's just a shade too low. I'd call that a shade too high. business okay so i went ahead of my scuff pad and i scuffed inside here all the way around what i've got is a very small piece of steel wool uh, before i put all this back together i noticed there's some red overspray kind of on that headlight lens i don't think it was for me because i really try to be vigilant and take that off but we'll go ahead and get it off the headlight itself and then off the surround as well. It's just like, you know, take a few minutes per headlight. And I think it'll give it a little nicer job. You know. Some of this stuff's a lot easier before you put the grill in. And nice and clean. 
maybe it'll stay nice and clean longer, easier to get to. You could take these off and polish them polish the ring itself if you want to but I think it's going to be a big help out clean her up these look like some old original GE or something lights uh, low beam high beam he might want to replace those later but if they work I'd run them Figure while that stuff in the front is drying, after I cleaned and wiped it, I can get this mirror put on. It had the factory piece, a um, couple of flathead screws that were very uh, coarse thread, and then the black gasket that goes under it. The mirror itself cleaned up pretty nice. It was mostly shiny, but some of these spots, like through here, I hit that with my steel wool, kind of around, and then that edge that's kind of never been cleaned. But I could see exactly where it used to go. I've got it back on, and now it just takes a machined screw to go in the center. Be fairly easy if you ever wanted to replace it, you know, just as long as the new gasket covered that spot. Yeah, I'm almost touching my paint there, but I'm not. I can bend it a little. There we go. I mean, it's a driver quality job anyway, but that doesn't mean it has to be bad. There we go. That's it. She's a little fogged up on this side, but not I ran over that with my steel wool also. I'll give it another wipe, but a lot of that is the glass itself. Not much you can do except replace the mirror or replace that glass. Up, oh. all around my headlights, uh, my bottom panel here, and this top panel here. Um, shot, the, shot all that stuff black real quick. It's got these nice four studs that stick straight in and then a couple bumper bolts on the ends. I'm gonna do my studs first. If I recall correctly, there was a mile of room between the bumper and here, but I went ahead and stuck my rags on the end of the bumper. You'll see. Not a big deal. Shouldn't be, rather. And the bumper's fairly lightweight for an old car. I was surprised with that. Let's check the fitment. Yeah, there's a mile. Get that rag off. Oh, that was a little tighter. I'll leave that rag in there. But I need to get underneath, run those turn signal deals, plugs up through our holes here, and uh, they'll plug in on top side. There's the other connector. Then do the rest of my bolts. Bumper will be done. The old bumper's on. Got my four alt steel wool. Run over it till I don't hear any kind of grit anymore. That's better, isn't it? I think so. Doesn't take but five, ten minutes to do this. And whenever you're done, you get a lot nicer product. Here's the headlights around for that side. I want y'all to look at that. It's definitely been hit before, and I don't even know if anybody tried to attempt to fix that, but I'm going to take my hammer and dolly, fix that one, and fix that. You can kind of see it's flattened out there. It just gives you so much better fit up against this. It just, that's ugly, you know. Getting that rounded back out where it'll fit nice. That helps with any car, really. I went ahead and shot my grill screws uh, black and then the bolts that actually go in here, they had a little bit of rust on. It took me about 
seven minutes. They look so much nicer being a little bit more detailed versus just like something ratty that would, putting the old stuff back on would be. So all those black screw heads go in the black holes there for this. I don't have time to uh, strip this down and try to repaint all that black in there, but after it's all on, you're not gonna really notice it. Um, if he wants to pop it off later, it's only six screws there, but I'm gonna get the grill popped in. While that stuff was drying, I did the uh, back glass trim, got it on nicely. Uh, I will say, I don't know if the screws are factory or not. Somebody had, maybe Steve uh, 1961 had said they're not or something. I don't know. This one was at a goofy angle. I did not do that. It was already like that. Perturbed me a little bit, but it's in. They're all nice and tight, uh, sealed and I replaced the four outer screws because they were just kind of rusted and I didn't want to have to go through cleaning that. On my trim, I mean on my emblems. Okay, so here's the front side of that emblem. If you go around to the back, right there are the factory thread cutting nuts. They're all on and they are all tight. I need to put in my inner fender piece now that goes by the headlight there. See that bolt missing? The big inner fenders will go there. Uh, maybe they're like splash guard or something, but yeah, these, I didn't just glue them on from the outside. I wanted to be sure y'all knew that. I know better than that. The glue on the outside was just a little bit of insurance just to be sure that, um, if something did happen, it would kind of stabilize them some. I got to call it quits. I went ahead and put my inner, uh, liners in the fenders, bumpers on, grills in, uh, emblems. I did the bottom trim here. Hopefully y'all can see that. Took me a little bit to scrub it up and stuff. Mirrors on. I did not do the door latches yet because I want to buff those two doors in that quarter. Same thing with the other side. Got my latch on here and stuff. Looks good, works good. Black my bolts out before I put them in. Cleaned up. She's looking like a car. There's a trim down that side. Oh, and back glass trims in. So I'm gonna call it good there. I went ahead and screwed these on too so I can get my back bumper and the back stuff done next week. Then we can roll it outside. Look at it real quick, but I still got a buff. Just a little. I wanna do these two doors and that bottom section a quarter too. And it'll be really nice. So, anyway, thank y'all for watching. And she's going to be a cool car when she's done.